Welcome home, my love. This is Coming Home with Mama T, and I'm your host, Tiara, aka Mama T. And on this podcast, we explore the journey of creating the life of our desires through mastering manifestation, maintaining a positive mindset, and living luxuriously. So, with that, today I want to talk to you about love. <laughs> um, love, right? I feel like a lot of us could use more love in our life. A lot of us are cultivating more love in our life. And I want to share my love journey with you today. Uh, I know for myself, I am experiencing so much love in my life and I am wanting that to share that. Uh, it's, It's interesting because you know, I am cultivating more love. I am calling in, you know, soulmate energy, calling in um, life partner, that kind of thing. And um, I happened to wake up this morning and I opened my phone to an Eartha Kit interview, no less. Uh, and I find it super interesting because there's this clip of that interview and it, she's like, compromise? <laughs> Why would I compromise? And that little sound bite is used uh, in a song that I like listen to or have on that comes on in the background all the time uh, when I'm listening to like the colors radio on YouTube and it comes up and it pops up and I never knew where that clip was from but I felt like I always felt like it was like leading to something profound and I just am missing part of it and so it's super funny that like I opened my phone and someone on TikTok had like shared the, a part of this post and I was like, that's the clip, that's the clip. And I went over to YouTube and I watched it and I was like, wow, this is, this is it, right? So she's saying, uh, there's like the interviewer ask is like asking her about like, oh, what if somebody wants to live with you? Like, aren't you willing to compromise? And she was like, compromise for what? <laughs> like, you know, it's their choice if they want to be in my space and my energy and experience the Eartha Kitness. Uh, <laughs> and they, you know, they get to choose and I get to choose to be myself right and I was like I mean I'm definitely not saying her words but like that's what I got out of it and I was like yes queen queen energy all day every day I am here for it and then there was like this part where um the interviewer asks about love and is like well do you just love yourself or does someone else like love you or something to that effect and um she looks at the camera and she's like yes yes because i love myself and i love myself so much that i want to share it with somebody else and i was like there is the manifestation there is the energy there is the experience right um we often talk about embodiment, right? When we are creating an experience in our life, we have to be that version of ourselves, right? And so if we want more love, we have to first love ourselves. Like it's not about giving love to the other people. Yes, we give love to the other people, but like if I love myself and I am so happy and I am like living in decadence and luxury, emotional luxury around myself and my experience, I can't help but share that like that vibration with others and other people are going to feel that vibration and reflect it back to me, right? And I'm going to feel more love and excitement excitement and joy through a mirroring of my energy and effect, you know? And so I was like, this is spot on. And I find a lot of us have been taught to work outside in versus inside out, right? Um, and I feel like society has kind of like made it a point to find something that we all have like because we all have insecurities right and but where did that insecurity come from it came from someone somewhere saying something about us just being is being 
wrong. I know for myself growing up, especially in the 90s, you know, being overweight was like, oh, well, that that's unattractive. It's unhealthy. People make all these assumptions about you just based off of what you look like. And that made me, you know, feel like I had to compromise part of myself. Well, if I am overweight and I am automatically seen as wrong and unattractive and and whatever list of insecurities here you know insert if I am this I must make up for it by compromising you know my personality by trying my best to make people less uncomfortable right making others more comfortable in my space by just giving of myself um, any in any way that I thought I could in hopes that maybe of me giving they'll love me more but that giving of myself wasn't loving to myself right it wasn't because it wasn't coming from a place of like oh well you know like you might think I'm overweight and unhealthy and whatever and that's cool but I think that I'm doing a great job and I love myself and I'm like, whatever. I'm like, well, if they think that I'm unha un like unhealthy and I'm undeserving of being happy and, you know, like all of these things, if that's their perception, well, okay, like I'm going to take their perception of me and make it my perception of me. And then I am going to work extra hard to, to try to get them to still love me through their perception, I guess is probably a way I don't know I feel like as kids we don't really think we definitely don't consciously think about what we're doing we just have this unconscious desire for being accepted and so we witness whatever is on TV whatever other people adults do around you to see and see what works right and we're seeing what other people have done to get what they they are desiring right and you're like you watch somebody and I don't know maybe I'm like oh well this person is really pretty and so like they seem to just ask for whatever they want and they get it okay well I don't look like them so what do I have to do maybe maybe I, I straighten my hair or I do what I can with all these products I, I don't know like I feel like society monetizes on making us feel insecure about certain things so they can make money <laughs> And I'm not here for that, right? I am really here for us to like fully embrace the luxury of life and let go of the compromising. Compromise for what, as Eartha Kitt said, right? Compromise. Compromise for what? Because the more we compromise, the more we're breaking ourselves down. The more like we are putting ourselves in a mindset that says that there is something innately wrong with us, whether it's our our, our color of our skin our weight our uh, I don't know our vision you know because god forbid somebody wears glasses <laughs> um our teeth and having braces or what orthodontia um I'm trying to think of all the random things that like you know I just I came into this world and I'm I'm here living and I'm just going through an experience and then someone else feels like the need to make fun of that experience or try to exploit said experience. Um, intelligence, right? People's perceived intelligence of, of you and, and what you can do. And so other people are creating these boxes for us to to live in and it's our choice to be like I'm not gonna let this box that you want to put me in define me I'm not gonna let your perception of me define me because the more I allow that to define me the more I'm going to experience other people feeling the same way and creating the experience and so I am trying to force everyone around me to see something different and then and hoping that like somebody will like shift it um, <clears throat> and I will say like the moment we choose to want something else or want something more there is an invitation you know I think about it like when I was growing up and I'm like oh like I had people would make fun of me right and they would say whatever they said and then I would be like oh I just like I really just want a friend I really just want you know like at least one person to like care you know like I just I just need a friend and before I know it you know like there's someone who shows up that's like hey let's go play <laughs> like whatever and and 
you know, that one spark, if I choose to accept it, right, it can choose to accept that spark. And then there's this one bright light and like the sea of darkness. And then if I choose to claim that light, right, like I choose to, I already chose that I wanted something and then I accepted the thing that I wanted. So it can't, it's a mirror of myself. Like there was like this light that mirror that flickered in me that found a light that flickered in somebody else. And I claim that light and I get to choose if I want to expand that light, right? Like it's this little light in our heart and I'm like, I'm going to expand it, right? You know what? This person thinks I'm pretty awesome. I am pretty awesome. I'm great at this. I'm great at that. I'm super fun at this. I'm super fun at that. The more and more I witness myself, I expand. And next thing you know, there's other lights that are reflecting that. And, and the lights are, are, are shining bright. And then the, the brighter I am, that's why they say don't hide your light under a bushel, right? Like the brighter I am, the more I light up. That darkness is just like, you know, I'm just seeing like little gremlins or something like, <laughs> too much too much brightness i can't handle it and you know maybe some of them are like oh actually whew, that was dark i didn't need to be there they might change they might level up and match your frequency or they might just like i don't know disintegrate and disappear out of your life and that is okay right and so we're talking about love here we're talking about love here how can you love yourself more right? How can you speak to yourself more better? How can you accept yourself more? How do you handle when people pay you a compliment? Do you shrug it off and like brush it off? Because I know that there's like something about being humble in our society and it needing to be like a thing. <laughs> we need to like not be like super, we don't want to be narcissistic. That's, that's just wrong. Um, and <laughs> I say that tongue in cheek, but right, you know, people, if you're worried about being narcissistic, you're not going to, you're never going to be narcissistic. It, it is what it is, right? There's a difference between being confident and understanding who you are and knowing your power and believing in yourself and trusting yourself and loving yourself and choosing yourself than being just a unconnected narcissistic asshole. Like there's, there's a huge difference, right? There is a huge difference and people might want to label you as such because they don't know how to handle when someone has healthy boundaries. They don't know how to handle when, you know, they were benefiting off of someone else having insecurities and coming to them for whatever or giving them whatever it is that they asked for because they got to capitalize off of it, right? Right. All right. Another sip of cacao. Mm. I love cacao. It's like, it's rich. It's decadent. I like to add a little cinnamon. Cinnamon corresponds with confidence. So feel free to incorporate some a little cinnamon in, in any of your little drinks, your cooking. It's, it's delicious anyway. It's uh, anti-inflammatory. It's got all sorts of great health benefits for you. And then the cacao, uh, fair warning, it's different than hot chocolate. <laughs> it's a little bit more bitter. So I add a little honey to mine and, and some oat milk. Um, but it's something, you know, in my mornings when I'm really like leaning into romancing my life and, and being decadent and, and being in luxury and taking some time. Uh, I think one of the things to me that feels so loving is slowing down in my mornings, like rather than waking up and immediately like running to some sort of device and getting to work and doing whatever, encouraging myself to slow down, offering some gratitude. Like I am thankful for being me. I am thankful for my experience, offering some, some gratitude and walking around and setting some intentions as I'm going about my day. I'm going to set my tea kettle up and, and turn it on. And I'm just reflecting and, and maybe even speaking out loud, like, oh, you know, I am, I'm pretty magnificent. I am wonderful. And, you know, throwing these affirmations as I'm, I'm like just starting my day, turning on my TV, putting on some like relaxing music, getting myself together, taking some time to sit and maybe talk to you, um, 
sit and just be with myself. Uh, even I like I love adding movement to my affirmations and my points of awareness, if you will, and and like walking. And so like I'm getting some steps in. I feel like it helps to better embody uh, whatever it is I'm doing. It's so funny. I was thinking I went to karaoke, and I feel like it might sound like I'm getting away from the love thing, but it, it's more about I'm better understanding myself uh, so we're embodying the love right and I went to karaoke and something hit in me and I've gone because I've gone twice two weeks in a row and I was like why why am I so like nervous you know sometimes like it's usually like the first song um, I, I usually am a little nervous I have to like get the jitters out and I'm like why why am I nervous like I know I like I know I'm good, I know I'm this, um, I like this song, but I think, like, the first song I always, it's like, I'm getting into my head about, like, well, who's the audience, and, like, who, are they gonna like the song, are they gonna think I'm a good singer, oh my gosh, I hope I don't, like, go off key, is this, is it gonna be in the right key, is it gonna be, like, da 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 and then, like, I get into this, like, into my head, and so I have to do the first song, and, like, do whatever, and then, like, get it out and then after that I'm like all right cool I'm having fun or whatever and one thing that I realized was like when I'm in that nervous mode if I get the mic get on the microphone and I cling the mic to me and I put my hand in my pocket or or behind my back and I like I kind of contract in that le contracts my throat and you know it contracts the throat chakra it like physically contracts your throat and then like I, I that's where I'm like squeaking and I have to work harder to like get my voice to come out and all of that I find that one take hand take my hand out of the pocket <laughs> take your hand out of the pocket girl um I I like if I move my hands I, I am someone that talks with my hands anyway uh my uh, best friend would often uh, if I was getting really in, in, intense about like a topic and I'm like talking and I'm like really excited, uh, he would grab my hand sometimes and just see what happens. And it would always short circuit my brain anytime. Like it was just like, oh, he would grab my hands and then like, ah, ah, what was I talking about? <laughs> and, and so all that to say is for me, movement is super important in the embodying of the experience. So if I'm showing up and I'm nervous about something, somatic work <laughs> shake it out make some moves right and i'm moving and and that movement can kind of help get the jitters out but also i can like do a little bit of like calling in like i love me i know i'm good at this this is fun for me like a reminder of like wait a minute why am i here because i love it it's fun for me we're doing this because it's fun for me like if anything like if it's if it's bringing me money or if it's bringing me joy like the, the, those are the reasons why I do things it doesn't have to be like anything extraordinary in the sense of like costing a lot of money or being opulent or whatever it is simply that it brings makes me happy and I don't need to un like excavate why it just makes me happy and that's okay right and that's why I participate that's why I participate so um, I feel called to say like it was brought up in my numerology report that that like let the fun be my my driving source and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that experience on another episode so make sure that you're subscribed and, and you've got your notifications turned on uh, so you can get new episodes I release a new episode every Monday and Thursday so make sure that you're subscribed and sharing coming home with Mama T. And with that, I just want to bring it all back to how can you love yourself better? What, what are the things that you are saying to yourself that lets yourself know that you are beautiful, amazing, worthy of love, that you are pure love all day, every day, moment to moment? Trust yourself, love yourself, choose yourself. And with that, I say ta-ta for now.